Imagine yourself traveling around the world, seeing beautiful places, amazing new cultures, enjoying wonderful scenery. You would like to buy yourself a nice cup of coffee. The problem is you ran out of money. What do you do? Well, you're actually going to take your debit card, find the local ATM, put your debit card into the ATM, and lo and behold, magic. You have money in your hand. But we all know that this is a loan from your local bank that will be repaid with your money back at your hometown. How come today you can use traveler checks and ATMs and credit cards no matter where you are in the world? It started in the land of Israel. Shalom, my name is Omer Eshel. I'm the director of the Israel Government Tourist Office Midwest Region based right here in Chicago. And today I would like to talk to you how the land of Israel is connected to the modern banking system. It is all embedded into the land of Israel inside the ruins of the castles of the Crusaders. The entire banking system actually started in Israel. In the year 1096 AD, the Clermont Committee under Pope Urban II called for the First Crusade. The committee appealed to all the citizens of Europe to take up arms and go to Israel, the Holy Land. The problem was, when the Crusaders set for the Holy Land, the only option for them was to go by foot or by sea. The First Crusade was actually a peasant crusade, did everything by foot and established the, the Kingdom of Jerusalem in the Holy Land in Israel. But the Third Crusade, which was the first organized crusade by kings, did not want to do it by foot, but they did not have any vessels. So, the kings of the Third Crusade came to the coastal cities of Venice, Amalfi, Genoa, Pisa, and many other coastal cities in Italy, and made a deal with them. You're going to give us the vessels to take us over to the Holy Land, to the city of Acre, Acre and we will give you trade rights. That is exactly what happened. One of the major problems of any pilgrim at that time was a problem of safety on the roads. For that, there were two major crusader orders that were formed in Israel. One is the Hospitalary Knight that they vowed to protect between Jaffa, the port city, and Jerusalem, the holy city and the capital of the first crusader kingdom, and the Templar Knights. Now, the Templar Knights were based at the foot of what we know today as Solomon Stables in the, in the Temple Mount, hence their name, named after the Jewish temple that was destroyed in 70 AD by the Romans. Now, something very interesting about the Templar Knights. The Templar Knights were based in Israel, of course, the headquarter was in Israel, but they were scattered around Europe, mainly in France. Now let's retract back to what we said before, the trade rights. The trade rights that the crusade had together with the port cities in Italy. What the Templar did was something of genius. They actually established a system which a pilgrim can come to their, one of their posts, one of their ATMs in Europe, deposit a sum of money and get a deed. Travel to the Holy Land, be escorted by them to either Acre or Jerusalem and cash in that deed minus a commission fee from the Temple Knights in Jerusalem or any other station in the Holy Land. It's exactly the same as you put in your debit card in any ATM and retract the money. Well, that ingenious idea of the Crusader Templar order made them extremely rich. Rich to the point they actually opposed a threat to the King of France and, and the Pope. But in the year 1307, on the 13th of October, which was a Friday, the King of France, Philippe Le Bon, together with the Pope, Clement V, decided to put an end to this. And that very Friday, those two men arrested every single one of the heads of the Templar Knights and destroyed completely the order. Hence, we have Friday the 13th as an unlucky day. The fact of this destruction of the Templar order was so devastating that the church actually banned all international banking system. Only in the 18th century did we see the establishment of central banks and the return of agreements between countries to develop the modern banking system as we know today. 
Today in Israel, there are over 216 crusader castles, most of them in ruins, throughout the land. Actually, the most intact crusader city in the entire world is the city of Akko. And you can go and visit it today and see it for yourself. So today, when you go and dip your cart to an ATM, imagine yourself going back in time a thousand years. You are a pilgrim in Europe and you're actually depositing your money into the hands of the Templar Knights, which are based in Israel, in the Holy Land. By hope that when you're gonna come safe and sound back to the Holy Land, you will be able to redeem that deed and be safe out of bandits. Hence the connection between Israel and the banking system.